In this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the ignition armature on a uh, Briggs & Stratton 650 series uh, walk-behind mower engine uh, vertical shaft. First thing you want to do is remove the top piece. It's a decorative piece. It's two Phillips screws. Move that out of the way. Start to remove the, um, on this, on this uh, engine you have to remove the gas tank. There's three bolts on top, there's one on the side, holds the gas tank on. Move that out of the way. Remove the uh, shroud. Uh, connected to the shroud is the oil uh, dipstick tube. You need to remove that. Move the shroud out of the way. And this is your uh, ignition armature. On the outside edge of your flywheel are, are magnets. You can see how it pulls my screwdriver into the flywheel. Um, these magnets induce energy into this armature, which is responsible for creating the uh, spark at your spark plug. And uh, the distance between the armature and the flywheel is important because if you have too too much of a distance, uh, it, it'll it'll decrease the amount of energy that's induced into the the armature. And uh, if it's too close, you can actually have the armature hit the flywheel, which is, which is going to damage something. Uh, so it's important that the, that the armature be set a certain distance from the flywheel. On this particular engine, the distance between the flywheel and the armature should be 6 to 10 thousandths of an inch. And you can, there's a couple of ways you can set that distance. You can either use a feeler gauge, which I have here. It's set for 8 thousandths. Uh, place your feeler gauge in between the flywheel and the armature. I've already loosened these screws. Push the armature towards the flywheel, tighten the screw just the other side. And that's, how, that's, that's one method of getting your, uh, the correct measurement. But there's an easier way of doing it. If you get an index card, this is just a regular uh, index card. You can find it uh, any hardware, or not hardware, but any uh, like drugstore like Walmart or something. Um, I'll show you here with a, I've got a set of calipers. If you measure the thickness of the index card, you'll see it's seven thousandths of an inch. If you can read that in the camera, so that's right in between six and ten thousandths of an inch, which is which is a correct uh, measurement for the distance between the armature and the flywheel. So, what you do is you insert the index card in between the uh, armature and the flywheel, then ro hold on to the armature, rotate the flywheel so that the magnets are in front of the armature then let the armature go let the magnet pull the armature towards the flywheel and let the magnets hold the armature there and then tighten down the holding screws turn the flywheel and remove your index card and there you go you adjusted the the correct distance between the armature and the flywheel using an index card and it's a lot easier than using the feeler gauge. The 
Adjusting the armature isn't something that needs to be done very often. Uh, it's usually only done when you disassemble the engine. Um, when you loosen up the screws that hold the armature down, then you have to readjust it. Uh, but, any, but it is an important uh, uh, spec for the engine. Um, like I said, if it's too far away, you get, you, get a, you get a lower voltage at the spark plug, and if it's too close, you can hit the flywheel. Um, but anyway, after you, after you adjust that, you can go ahead and reassemble your engine shroud and gas tank, and let's just reverse the order that I took them off. And, uh, and that's it. So I hope you found this video helpful, and thank you for watching.